Minasan, konnichiwa. Yeah, it's been quite a while since I did a normal vlog and um, there's some things I want to say. First of all, I want to apologize for the fact that there, I haven't really made any... Well, I have made a couple, but not enough videos about me showing you Tokyo. Those videos will come. Uh, I will shoot a lot of Tokyo the next coming weeks. Um, but, you know, I kind of wanted to explore the city myself before I actually showed you the city because, you know, I didn't know the city. I want to get to know the city, so now I can show you more. Uh, yeah, there's that. Um, and I kind of... Oh, I want to say I have made a... The, the Defiant Deviant, Deviant, I never know how to pronounce that side name. Uh, Defiant Art account that will be up here, the link, I think, or down there. You know, I never know. I never, oh, oh my god. And I've made a Facebook. Both are, um, yeah, more empty than the Sahara Desert, but uh, things will change. Things will change. I will add more things uh, on those pages. So if you want, uh, if you want to. Uh, follow me on Deviant, Devi Deviant Art, Jesus motherfucking Christ, follow me on Deviant Art, or follow me on Facebook. Uh, so, there's that, and of course I know a lot of you are curious about how the date went, right? So, um, it's been a couple of days ago, uh, I haven't really felt like doing the vlog, um, because of two reasons, uh, one of them was my roommate, was, and second was, um, I was hungover as shit. For at least two days um the two-day hangover it's a bitch um anyway so date went good uh i'll kind of review the date i guess um there were a couple of things i really liked and a couple of things that were kind of like you know um the things i didn't like were um first of all like nothing happened so you know i mean it was kind of a romantic date but um like yeah, hands were being held, but there was no kissing, no bronki bronki. You know, you know what I mean. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like nothing really happened. Um, but um, so that was one thing. And the second thing was, um, well, the hangover. Like that girl can drink. So um, yeah, it was a lot of drinking. And the next day, I didn't feel good. I want to hear about have a, a moment of silence for for a public toilet. Um, at ABC station because I made him suffer but you know how it is like you're hungover you're on the train and the thing shakes and you're like oh I don't feel good I don't feel good so yeah <laughs> so those were the bad things but the good things like it was a really nice date like I had so much fun talking to her she had she really enjoyed the date she we had very good food we went to an Italian place with or was it a French place? I don't know. It was either an Italian place or a French place, but they had a lot of Italian and French food. So, you know, uh, called the Red Pepper. Uh, so if you ever come to Tokyo, there's a place close to Shibuya called uh, Red Pepper. So just remember it, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. The Red Pepper, really good place, really nice food. Um, I mean, as well, the Italians or the French can learn something about, <laughs> about uh, their food over there. So, uh, very nice, very nice food. We had all these talks and one of the things she said is what, what annoyed her most about Japanese men is that they are so shy. Today I want to say to all you Japanese men, but to all men, don't be shy, right? Uh, just the worst thing that can happen is that she gives you a no. Uh, the best thing that can happen is just having an awesome evening or an awesome time. So it's one because I'm a shy guy actually as well, so it's one of my New Year's uh, resolutions, like less shy, you know? It was an awesome evening. And then we went to another uh, place uh, from a guy we also knew um, in Shibuya. A uh, very nice little cozy um, bar and uh, he gave some free food because he knew us and uh, he, he was a very funny guy. He was like, yo, why don't I hear you guys screaming over there? <laughs> and she was like, oh, <laughs> Azukashi, Azukashi again, you know, she's always saying that, Azukashi. And when I went to another bar, another bar with a couple of uh, gaijins in it. And this guy, you know, he gave me free beers and stuff, and uh, he was like, oh, you're such a cool dude, you know, because he kind of wanted to promote the whole guy, you think, you know, he had one of those books with everyone from every country writing in it, and, you know. so he said, you should come here again, you should come here again, um, so I will come there again, <laughs> if it's just for the free beer, you know, but I don't know if I'll get free beer again, so that's that, very nice day, we ended up at a karaoke place, very drunk, very drunk, but the, the trains in Tokyo, they stop running after like 12 or, or 1 o'clock or something like that. So she said to me like, at, at, at 11.30, she said to me, oh, don't you want to go home? 
She's like, no, I'm gonna go to a party and ride. She's like, oh, you, you gotta catch your train ride. I was like, no, no, I don't. What do you mean? Catching a train is the biggest city in the world, right? They, they run 24 seven. That's what I thought. She was like, I was like, do you want to go home? She's like, no, no, I'm fine. I'm staying out all night. Um, so I was like, well then, let's party, right? So at like three o'clock, I was like, oh, maybe we should go home. And she was like, well, but the trains don't run. <laughs> I was like, what? what? <laughs> it's the biggest city in the world. Why don't the trains run? Even my city, just, you know, trains at night run just to get the drunk people home, you know? That's just like a public service. Um, but it's Holland, maybe it's just Holland, you know? Um, so we ended up at a karaoke place and we ended up sleeping there. She was like, oh, we should go to a karaoke place. It's cheap and you have, you know, benches, you can sleep on that. Um, because first we looked for a couple of hotels, right? Should have done that. That may be some bedonky like would have happened. But, you know, um, because she was like, oh yeah, I'm fine with that. But her eyes said, mm, I'd rather not. So we went to the karaoke place and we slept there. She said, yeah, yeah, it's okay. So they got benches. So I was like, oh yeah, some nice sofa or something. I was like, oh, I can sleep on that, right? But it was like these really hard benches really not comfortable I, I think i slept for like 20 minutes because there was like glass doors these glass doors and like you could hear everyone singing and there's some talent out there i'm telling you there is some real talent but there's a lot of fuckers there that really can't sing so you know just the noise the entire evening oh my god and the headache i woke up with wasn't fun man it wasn't fun so yeah the next day worst hangover ever i got here to my house and was like I, I went to sleep and I woke up at like 3 in the, in the afternoon or something like that, so, um, but yeah, so that, that's how the date went, it went very nice, it was, it was a really nice date overall, like, you know, um, there was something, so I think I'll ask her out again, just for a cup of coffee or something like that, um, so that's that, so check out my Facebook and Defiant Deviant de 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 Art, and... I'll see you guys next time, I guess. Yeah, I will, I will post more videos about Tokyo.